Hi, senior parents. I'm Jessica Cunningham, social studies teacher and your student's AP government teacher. Um, excited to have you and all of your kids with me. Just want to give you a little introduction to um, me and our classroom environment. So um, go ahead and come on and join me up in the front of the classroom. So, um, when your students are here, uh, this is our socially distanced classroom. We've got our sanitation station if anybody needs it. Mostly what I like doing is making sure that your students are engaged and working together as much as possible um, in even with our restricted um, kind of movements. Um, but as an educator, I do believe that students working together is the number one way that they will um, thrive. So I highly encourage you guys to start learning pods at home on your distance day. So when the kids are at home working on that day that they have off, but they're still working on their government, what if you were in pods of three? Just, just a thought. So, a little bit about me and my background. I am a Reno native. I actually went to Reno High, but I ended up marrying a grizzly, so everything's good in the world there. Um, after graduating in 2000, I went on to UC Davis and got my um, bachelor's in modern European history and uh, linguistics. And then I went on and got my master's degree in secondary education at Stanford University. Spent the first eight years of my career teaching in the Bay Area at three different schools, and then it was time to come home. Um, and I landed here happily as an AP government teacher and social studies teacher at Galena. This is going to be my sixth year. Um, AP government is one of eight different subjects that I've taught um, in social studies, everything from economics to psychology, world history, U.S. history. Um, but AP government is officially my favorite course that I have ever taught, largely because I enjoy working with your kids, your seniors, uh, and working with them as they begin their adventure into civic engagement. I like to say um, the beginning of their political activation, um, and they all kind of giggle when I say that, but um, you know, we've got kids going anywhere from they don't even know what the word politics means to they think they already know exactly everything they need to know about their political um, views. So it's kind of fun to help them navigate that, become independent thinkers, um, and ultimately responsible civic um, participants. So how can you help? You can help by making sure that your student is checking teams every day. Um, this is especially important on their hybrid distance days, so on the days that they're working at home. They need to make sure that they're checking in to their team for this class at the time that the class starts. That is the expectation, as um, we do have to take attendance, um, and I'm going to show you how they do that. So when your student first logs into um, their AP government team, what I've asked them to do, their view is a little different than mine because uh, mine's the owner view. Um, they need to come up to one of the tabs up here that says second period attendance. Okay, This will very easily take them to a Microsoft Word where they'll enter their name. That's that. Then they can come back either to the general posts, all right, and they can view the assignments, or they can go into their own to the assignments tab, and they will see what the assignments look like in there. So I will show you, again, my view is a bit different as the teacher. Um, this is what they will see, um, and this tells them what it is they're supposed to be doing for that distance learning day. So I will have all the materials um, that they need, for example, my sways, which is how I kind of organize the lesson for them while they're at home, as well as any student work that needs to be completed and turned in. All right, so most important on those days that your student is at home, they're checking in on Teams, they're signing their name on the attendance form, and they are doing the lesson that is assigned that day, because that lesson that's assigned that day is actually what we're doing in class as well. Okay, so, um, 
I'm, it's not that this class is going to be repeating itself, okay? So if you're on the A rotation and it's an in-person A rotation day, the kids on the B rotation at home are doing the same exact thing as the kids on the A rotation in class, okay? And I've set up the curriculum so that it pretty much mirrors identically what's happening. Again, that's why I think the learning pods would be really great because while the kids who are in person get that collaborative experience, um, the students at home don't necessarily get that. But it would be so great if they got together during their AP government time and did AP government together. So again, that's a brief navigation of Teams. I did want to show you, uh, you should have gone over the syllabus with your student already. And I'm not going to go back over it right now. But I wanted to make sure you saw this part at the end. All right, there are a couple things for you to sign, all right, for College Board in terms of them making an, that they've already made an account, um, but it's some kind of, you know, privacy disclaimer. Also, take a look at this form here. Let me go through this quickly. And again, you can access this in your student's team. Um, you should have gone over it. Some of you even got your pictures taken, and um, that was sent to me on the team with your student showing me you went over it. So hopefully you got this far. All right. And you will see um, some things for you to take a look at. But also, if you want to be added to the Microsoft team, I can do that. All right. I just need your email. Okay, so if you, I haven't done this yet because we hadn't had an open house. I want to make sure I reached all parents. Um, but as of right now, if you've already signed this and you wanted to be added to the team, I am going to start adding parents at this time. Um, but if you didn't get to this part, please come in and you would like to be added to the team. Come take a look. Now, that wouldn't be a place that you would be able to see your student's grade. You would not be able to, uh, I would, I do not want you to be posting or interacting with me via Teams, because it's, it's really just for the students. But if you'd like to be able to access the team so you know what it is your student's supposed to be doing, um, I'm happy to open that up to you, all right? And you can find that by simply going to your student's team in the general posts, hit files, and it's gonna be right there, okay, with the syllabus. All right, parents. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you learned a little bit more about uh, me and the course um, and what some of the expectations are. Um, please feel free to contact me. Email is the number one way. I'm not big on uh, answering my school voicemail. Uh, so please reach out anytime. Keep the communication open. And again, thanks for tuning in, and I wish you a great evening.